This is really happening. Lincoln is all harnessed up. We got police, we got a guy in a bucket. The green light is blue. Ah, what? Today we have this giant stoplight. Look how big it is. This is an actual stoplight. The stoplight is so much bigger than I thought. Like, it's so big. Look how big it is. Like a soccer ball, maybe. Even a basketball. Right it's like here. 52, 51 inches. Here's the question. Is a stoplight really this big? Like one that is up on the pole. So we need to see if we can like get up there and measure one of them. We have the key to the city that the mayor gave us. So I would also like to present Lincoln and Dan with their own key to the city. Yes. I think it's time to call in a favor from the mayor and then we can come back here and cut this thing open, take it apart and see what's inside of it. Oh, I almost hit you. It's a real thing. Keys to the city. We'll get you access to a stoplight. We got our mayor here. Mayor, we got the key to the city that you gave us. Can we cash it in and get some help here for you the stoplight? You can cash it in absolutely for you, anything. <laughs> for us, anything. Do you hear that? All right, ready? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Three. It is 50 and a half inches. It's the same as the other one. Inches. How's the view from up there? Cool. We did it. I'm sure, that guy was recording, right? Oh, that, that camera. Oh, they just blew in there. Yikes. Lincoln. That was fun. Yeah. All the street lights just blew. It made a loud explosion noise in there, and all of them went out, went down. What'd you do? What? I'm serious. <laughs> Look, they're all off. How? The street lights are now out. Those ones, those ones, these ones, and those ones. Seriously, all the lights are out now. Did we like blow a fuse or something? Let me see this one. That's kind of that's kind of scary. I swear we didn't touch anything. Yeah. Oh, I, I promise, city. Please don't take our key to the city away. We didn't mean to hurt anything. They have police blocking the street. Look at that. At first, I thought maybe we don't need the police so much, but now that the lights blew just randomly while we were here, I'm grateful for the police. Good news. I see red. Okay, red and green. Whew, we didn't shut the city down. I was mostly concerned that there was going to be an accident that happened and it would have been on our watch. Okay, good news. Everything is fixed. The street lights are good, but what are we even looking at in here? What is this thing? What, what, like, what don't is Don't touch it. <laughs> Six is handed. The thing a lot of people don't know about traffic signals is it's basically just a computer. That's what this big box is right here. It's just like your computer at home, it's just in a different case and has some different buttons on it. Does it have a sensor so that it knows how many people are on, like say there's 10 cars that are waiting or is it basically a timed? Contrary to belief, we actually do monitor that and that's what these components are right here. This particular one, if you want to turn around and look at it. The white box right above Oh it. yeah, that guy. It's a, it's a radar sensor. Same technology you use in your microwave. What if there's a fire truck driving down the street and it has its sirens. Is there something in the fire truck that makes the signal automatically change to green for it? Another great question. Remember growing up and they used to tell you that you could flash your lights and make the lights change? You ever heard that yeah. one? Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't actually work, but it comes from the system that the fire department uses. It's what's, what they call Opticom. This site doesn't have it, Okay. but a lot of the ones down in Salt Lake do. It uses an infrared light that will mount on the truck, and as it approaches an intersection, it, it blinks very, very fast. It will make the signal change to a pre-programmed um, no way. Set, of, set of timings. What's inside your traffic stoplight box, computer box? So basically it's a computer with a bunch of sensors and depending on how busy the stoplight actually is, that makes the determination of like which type of sensors do we want to have in here. I always wondered like how do the sensors work? Do the fire trucks and police officers have like a special sensor? Now we know. Let's take apart our stoplight and see what's inside of it. Here's the back of it. We have some kind of wires that must feed from the pole down to the box that actually tells it what to do. It's actually for structural reasons to be held on. Oh, that looks blue. I'm sure it's green, but it definitely looks blue. Blue, yellow, and red. Oh, we've got a wasp nest right there. A little dead wasp nest. Ah, we confirm that it's about the same height. So now it's time to get inside of this thing. The first things first, I wanna cut off this giant shade part that covers the light so we can get a good look at the light. <laughs> We could have just unscrewed those screws and it would have come off. Let's clean off that light. It's kind of cool, clean yeah. like that. 
It's big, right? How big is it compared to Lincoln's head? Oh, it's bigger. If we put this on Lincoln's head, Lincoln's head is smaller than a stoplight. Do you think people should make stoplight hats? You have to hold it, that would be annoying. Now I think if we just unscrew these things, this will open up and we can see the internals of a stoplight and see really what's inside a stoplight. Now let's see what's inside the red stoplight. What's inside? It's a red light. Is it? No, it's a white light. It's just a regular light. It this is. is the red. This is what makes the color. Well, this that is just feels one. so cool. That does feel cool inside of there. This is the light bulb. Let's take it out. The light bulb inside of here is traffic 8,000 hour, 69 watt, Sylvania, based down 130 volts, 640L, whatever that is. Let's see what's behind this giant reflective light cover. This is screwed on, this is not screwed on. Oh, oh, whoa. whoa. Why are you hey, now we see what's inside red, of it. it. So the yellow that I always call yellow is called amber. Amber, red, amber, and green. I think of amber, I think of like sap from a tree color, like yeah. in Jurassic Park. Or, or in the, Zelda, the mineral um, amber. So it's pretty simple what's inside of a traffic light, because really the brains and the operation happen in that box that's down by the street that we saw that exploded while we were doing this video. But in here, it really just has a white wire and a red wire. I think we need to take like a BB gun and shoot this glass, see if it'll break. <laughs> This is our really cheap little BB thing. Let's get a little BB in there. You have to pump it like 30 times. I have shot through our plastic fence. All right, hopefully this does not ricoch ricochet and hit the camera, but here we go. Three, two, one, pew! Oh, it went through it. Look at that. Oh, look at the exit wound. It blew up pretty big. And then there's little candy looking things yeah, right that, there. Wait, the but where did the bullet go? Did it go into there? I don't know what happened to the BB. Let's give it another shot. Yeah. You want to shoot it? No. Little BB. Uh, three. Oh. I shot it a few more times. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I did. Ah! What? I had to. Good. Good move. There we go. There's a thick piece of it. Come look at the green. I feel like the green is blue. What? Doesn't that look blue? What? It looks like your shirt. Is the green light really blue? And if not, why does it look blue to us? That is one thing we did not research for this video. It looks so blue, like the sky. Why is it blue? Totally looks blue. That is blue. The green light is blue. Next time we drive down the street and you see a stoplight, I will think that the stoplight is giant. And you know how it works. Every one of them has the same color bulb in it with a couple little wires, whether it's red, amber, or green. So it's, now that's this what glass is what makes the difference. I hope you guys learned something today. Thank you to our city, to our mayor, to the police officers. Let us know what else we should see what's inside of. Twilight Zone.